Hi everyone, how's it going? Today I'm here with my friend Fedora, and today in Greenville we're gonna be racing. Well, we're gonna be testing. We're gonna be testing the performance um, between two of um, Porsche's main family cars. We got the Macan GTS and the Cayenne GTS. And the reason why I chose these cars is because they have really similar performance and really similar top speed. And I. And they both have all-wheel drive, so basically just similar performance in general. We're just gonna, we're trying to see who's fastest here. So right now we're just gonna, we're just like setting up our cars for our for like a drag race. But before that, let's do some sound checks. So right now I have a 440 horsepower twin turbo V6 from a from a uh, I don't know where it's from, but I feel like it's from like Alfa Romeo. But anyway, here's here's the sound. All right, and Fedora, can you tell us about your car? Okay, this is a 2012 Porsche Cayenne GTS. It has a 4.8 liter V8. I think it has 420 horsepower as well. Uh, here, let's hear the sound real quick. Very good, nice. from my opinion. I think that's the same V8 from like AMG and Mercedes and stuff. Anyway, I think so too. Sadly, in the game, this these cars do not have launch control. And plus, oh oh yeah, I think an advantage that I might have over him is that I have a seven-speed automatic and he has a six-speed. So yeah, I have a six-speed. It sucks. Yeah, fortunately. So yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? So Fedora, do you want to go to semi or automatic for this? For uh, drag race. Probably automatic. I'm not the best shifter. Alright, it's fine. Alright, so. Man, the V6 sounds so nice. Yeah, this V8 sounds amazing. Uh, Partially because it came from the AMG. Or we'll just turn traction off. Alright, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh man, straight off the line. They are dead even. I think I'm straight up the line. Oh, oh yeah, it's a close one. It's a close one, and he's pulling away. Nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the V8 life. Slowly pulling away. I top out a 176. And I top out a 170. These cars do not have the best brakes. Speaking no, of, they do not. Yeah. Speaking of brakes. All right, 60 miles per hour braking test. Ready? Mhm. Mm all right, and three, two, one. Full break. This this yeah. has like this has way more braking. This is like way better braking than I imagined. Like it just breaks instantly from 60. I think you yeah. braked a little late though. I think I did break a little late, but that still doesn't help the fact that this is thing. This thing is like what? Probably 11 years old now. Yeah, 11 years old, and it. But the technology is still pretty modern. But it's yeah. still pretty modern. Yeah. Let's let's do a roll race. All right, 40, 40 miles per hour rolling race. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, three, two, one, go. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna need more room than that. Yeah, let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, forty miles per hour rolling race in third gear. Ready? Ready? All right, three, two, one, go. Dude, you are getting destroyed so far. There you go, I'm pulling away now. Well, now you are. Oh! On my end, you just like, you were just like neck and neck with me before we rammed into that fence. But, oh, I was like a bus like the head of you. Uh, other, otherwise, your your car is much faster than mine. All right, so I just realized we forgot the, the, like, the second go of drag races, and we forgot the additional specs. So to put it simple, my car, like I said, has a 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6, has uh, 440 horsepower, and has 404 pound-feet of torque along with a curb weight of about 4,000 pounds. So what about yours? Uh, like I said before, this has a 4.8 liter V8. 
It has 420 horsepower, which I'm surprised because this thing was pulling on you before. Um, 379 pound feet of torque, and I think it weighs around 4,500 pounds. All right, and what's strange is that his zero to 60 time is slower than mine, and yet he still picks up quicker. His does oh, yeah. 60. His does 60 in around 5.3 seconds, while I do it in 4.6. So, yeah, that's why we're doing this whole second drag race thing to find out if the zero to 60 times are really right. All right, are you ready? Mhm, mm I'm ready. All right, uh, traction control off. All right, three. Two, one, and go. I jumped the start. No, I jumped. Oh, what? I jumped the start. Oh. All right, let's try this again. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so the zero to 60 times are right, but you still pull away faster than me because you have a V8. Yeah, I think it's also because it's naturally aspirated. And while mine's twin turboed. Yeah. The braking from top speed is absolutely exemplary. Like, cars should have brakes like these. <coughs> uh, oh, um, yeah. From 174 miles per hour. It's pretty, did pretty well. Before we end this video off, I just, want, I just forgot to say the prices. So in the game, this can go for almost a hundred thousand dollars about ninety seven thousand dollars to be exact but this is much much cheaper and this is much cheaper compared and, to that this seems this like 50 grand 50 grand almost 51 grand but you get my point these are both luxury passes i think but i think this one's sports but anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you like what you saw then please hit subscribe and if you want to see more car 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 reviews like this well not car reviews but like performance tests like this be sure to like and comment, and and if you if you want, subscribe, because I'm going to be posting a lot more often now. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and take care. Peace out.